Well, okay, here we go, folks. Uh, some people enjoy sex more than others. I don't know who that is, but if you can enjoy it more than me, I, I gotta tell you, you must not be working. Uh, but if a couple doesn't see eye to eye in the bedroom, their love life can come to a screeching halt. And that's what's happened to my next guest, Sabrina and Jason. And here to help fix their freak is a Real Housewives of Atlanta and host of Candy Coated Nights, my buddy, Miss Candy Barris. Yeah. And my friend, sex and relationship therapist, Dr. Laura Berman. Welcome, everybody. Okay, Sabrina and Jason, uh, tell us about your relationship. Well, Steve, we've been married for 18 years. We have two uh, teenage sons, a happy family for the most part, but it's Jason that's not happy with our sex life. Well, Steve, let me just say this. Now, yeah, I know there's more life than just sex, but when it comes to us, if I don't initiate, then it won't happen. She will be fine without sex, Steve. And we've been, we've been married this long, and I'm still waiting. No! I just want her to understand that I'm attracted to her and that I love her, and I just want her to want me as much as I want her. I do want you. We've been together 25 years, married for 18. We've had good sex. I mean, I really? We've had good sex, yes. We have we two have children. Good... Yes, we do. So just because I'm not giving it to him when he want to or dropping everything and, and you know, let's work it, I, I, that's just not me. <laughs> 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 well, and it's like he got a freak. Say, say, say it again. He want me to meet him at the front door stirring up eggs. Like, really? No! <laughs> Jason, what, what, what do you want to see change? Well, I would love to see my wife a little more focused, uh, a little more energy, some passion. I mean, there are times when she will talk about the neighbors. She'll talk about the dog. And it's it's like she will avoid... I do talk doing that about... <laughs> Oh, baby, did you know what happened today, Jason? Did you see? He was like, man, really, you killing my mood right now. But it be so much going on in my head, I'm like, okay, but I just had to get it out. But he ain't listening. He on. I mean, he's focused <laughs> on... I mean, chased him off the stage. <laughs> I love it. Well, when you say that on TV, I ain't got no more damn show. <laughs> <laughs> uh. He didn't want to be on. Oh Focusing. <laughs> Focusing. That's what we were looking for, but I'm sorry. I, that didn't Focusing. You okay. just, yeah. just turned this into a, a cable show. No. We was... <laughs> so, Sabrina, what do you think should change? I need help. Um, I don't want to lose my husband. I love my husband. Um, I just need help. I really do need help. I talked to God first. I'm, now I'm talking to you. So now maybe I need to get home and try some horny goat weed. Maybe that'll work. <laughs> oh, there's better things than that. Candy, what, what do you see happening here? You guys are the experts here. Well, um, Jason, sometimes women, the longer we're in the relationship, we start to look at sex as work, like it's a job. So what I would say is that you should do things to cater to her senses to, so that she won't focus on anything but what you're doing. Make it a game for yourself to see how many different ways you can turn her on. I think she'll like and that. And I think, you know, I see couples like you in my office every day, and one of the reasons that I find that sometimes women start rolling through the, the talking when they start fooling around is she finally has your undivided attention. Maybe there is more external time that you guys could spend together outside the bedroom. You get that stuff out of the way, but you gotta source your desire from a place other than spontaneous horniness, because that's not gonna be there right now. Can I ask a question? You never want to have sex? Like, you never try to turn him on? Nope. And that's out, of the, that's out of all the years we've been married, I can count twice. Twice? Twice. Twice. Is it inhibitions that you have? Like, are you insecure, or you feel like nice girls don't do that kind of thing, or? That was a perfect word, inhibitions. Yeah. I hold back. Yeah. I I'll do. go to church. My dad's a pastor. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it was the way that I was reared. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, you're the oldest, you need to set the example and lead by example. Don't let them little boys near you. How, don't... Do, 
How did y'all get married? <laughs> because mean, it was good. We had sex. We had sex. Shh, they believe. listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, what I, everybody know now. Listening. Well, everybody know now. So now that they know now, you ain't got to be the example of purity anymore. And you have, you know, it's hard because you're taught your whole life sex is bad, wrong, dirty, don't do it, don't do it. On your, yes. you know, you get married, you're yes. supposed to flip a switch yes. and be woohoo. Yeah. But that is really yes. a choice. And as the woman you are now, you know that those inhibitions and hangups you have aren't real. They're, they don't really apply. You're married, you're allowed to do, you know, pretty much anything you want to do, right? I mean, within reason, right? <laughs> so, so there's, I mean, can you see that? Can you look at you as the woman you are now, not the girl you were? I and can. If you, yeah, so, I can. so that's the part you got to tap into. You got to really talk yourself through it at first until you get more comfortable. I got an idea. <clears throat> see, you, you're a woman of faith and your dad is a pastor. Use religious phrases. <laughs> Go ahead, like, what? Father God. Father God. Father in the name. Take me to Calvary. <laughs> <laughs> Resurrect me. Roll that stone away. <laughs> you know. I like it. <laughs> I just, you know, look, I bought candy and uh, Dr. Berman here because they got a plan to help you reconnect. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it all revolves around this. Yes. Oh. Well, you'll see what we're talking about when we come back. Stay with us, but the setting is right here. Yeah.